Welcome to Jackie's Craft Table. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm working with Spellbinder's October 2019 card kit. I'm going to quickly show you what it includes. This is a Christmas card kit. I love Christmas card kits. This kit is called Sparkling Holidays. And as usual, it comes jam packed with beautiful things. I'm quickly pulling them out of the box so you get an idea of what it includes. You always get a full size pad of pattern paper, some stamps, you get some beautiful stickers. I already pulled out the ephemera pack and the dies and the gemstones, but you'll get a closer look at them as I start creating my cards. They always give you some cardstock. I really love their brown craft cardstock. I used every piece of that up. It's just an unusual sort of craft. And then I really enjoyed using the silver metallic paper from this kit. I really loved the dark green piece too. I'm going to open up this pattern paper and flip through it for you. They're always gorgeous and you get two of each pattern. A lot of it is silver foiled like this wood piece there. It's just gorgeous. It's a very unusual color palette for Christmas, but I loved it. I had fun creating with these colors that I generally wouldn't choose, at least for Christmas. <laughs> I'm diving right into two the ephemera pieces from this kit. I love floral cards, so of course that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to glue some leaves and berries behind this flower and put together a little bouquet. Just using my Jackie's Craft Table glue to adhere these. I sell this glue over on my Etsy shop. I'll have the links below and over on my blog. It's a fabulous archival glue to use on your projects. And I love this bottle with the thin tip. You can get into small places with it. And of course, the pink cap just does it for me. <laughs> I absolutely love this glue. I used some of the silver metallic paper to cut out a frame. And now I'm going to use some of the dies that came in this kit. This one's going to say Merry Christmas. And I'm just using my little desktop die cut machine to cut these out. These die cuts are very dainty and thin, but they're so beautiful. I use these a lot on my cards. You do have to use a craft pick just to kind of poke them out of the die. With this metallic paper, they just want to stick in there. It's a lot easier with your regular cardstock, but I just had to use some more of this metallic paper. I'm using some foam squares behind my floral piece. And then I'm going to adhere that onto the corner of my card. I also used a piece of the gray cardstock from this kit to adhere everything to. And then once I pull off the release paper, I can just press that into place I'm using little teeny dabs of glue behind this die cut. And I'm just going to adhere that flat onto my card. This glue does dry clear, so if some happens to ooze out from behind your die cuts, it's okay. And now to adhere the Mary. I loved all of the word dies that came in this kit. I think you can never have too many word dies. And then I'm going to add a few of the rhinestones, just three of them, around this panel. I'm going to adhere this to one of the pre made card bases. I love having them all ready to go, as well as the envelopes. And I'm just using more liquid glue for this. And that completes my first card. I just love the metallic silver paper. I used a couple of the ephemera pieces to decorate the inside of my card. For my next card, I'm going to use some of the purple card stock that came in the kit. And I die cut that with a wonky stitch die. One of the dies that was included in this kit is this beautiful pine tree sprig. 
and I cut them out with some of the green cardstock as well as some of the metallic cardstock. And I'm just adhering them flat onto the purple cardstock. I love this little sticker with the mouse hanging out of the stocking. So I'm going to put that in the middle of my card. And I did prop that up with some foam squares. Sometimes I find it easy to use my craft pick to pull off the release paper. I have such a hard time with that. And I'll just center that on my card. I also used a piece of pattern paper behind my purple cardstock. I'm going to use one of the ephemera pieces for my sentiment. I'm going to put that right across the glove. I think I said stocking before, but yes, it's a glove. <laughs> I did put a piece of foam tape at either end of this sentiment so it'll match the height on the, I guess it's a mitten. Let's get this right here, Jackie, the mitten. <laughs> and then I'm going to adhere that onto another white card base. I added a few more of the gems and I just love how this one turned out. It's so cute. And on the inside, I used some of the stickers as well as another die cut. I don't think I've ever made a Christmas card with purple cardstock before, but I love it. Card number three, I'm going to use some more flowers as well as another sticker. I'm using a bit of the craft paper and I propped it up with some foam tape. And then this sticker here is going to be my centerpiece of this card. I'm just using a piece of the release paper to keep it from sticking right there because I'm going to use more of the cardstock and make up some banners to match the sticker banner. So I'm going to put two more banners across this panel. Now I can stick my sticker down. I'm going to add a few of the flowers. I pulled off one of the sticker sentiments and adhered that to the top of my card, but I ended up changing that. It was just too small. I'm trimming off the excess card stock, just trying to get a straight cut there. I should have done this before I adhered everything down. Just using my small scissors to get into this small space. And then I'm using more glue to adhere this down to my card base. This is where I decide to pull off the sticker sentiment and exchange it for an ephemera die cut. And then I'm just adhering that down flat. I like to add sparkle with these gems, so I'm adding a few more. And that completes the card. On the inside, I used a scrap of the cardstock and another ephemera piece flower and a sticker sentiment. Now, if you watch any of my videos, you know that I really love to make my own pattern paper using the stamps from the various kits. There are only two images from this stamp set, but I'm going to make it work. I love this pine, I cannot say this, sorry, pine tree. Oh, never mind. This stamp I'm using right here. I'm going to use that all over the card. And then I'm going to use the berries. I'm stamping it out with some dark green ink. And then for the berries, of course, I'm going to come in with some red ink. As I said before, I just love this brown craft cardstock that they put in their kit sometime. It's my favorite. <laughs> I'm using a teeny tiny acrylic block. I just love this thing. I keep it out on my desk and I use it a lot. It's very handy to have for your smaller stamps. And now to finish up this card, I'm going to use the die that says Christmas again. I'm using an ephemera piece that looks like two little Christmas trees in a jar or a globe, as well as the sticker that looks just like this ephemera piece, but it's a little bit smaller. And then I'm gluing more of the pine tree sprig dies around. I cut them out with more green cardstock as well as some of the white, just to give an indication of snow. And then I'm also using the sentiment that says cheer. I thought this was a fun one. I really love how this one turned out. 
I'm using another piece of the pattern paper for this card. I just love this wood grain paper with its metallic accents. I'm centering a piece of the purple card stuck on this pattern paper. And then I'm going to use a lot of the ephemera pieces to put this card together. I loved this little white owl, so I'm going to use that. But I'm going to use some foam squares behind him. Everything else will be attached flat to my card panel. This was a really quick card to put together. And don't you just love quick cards sometimes? They turn out stunning, but they're fast and fun to do. I'm using another ephemera piece for my sentiment. I'll adhere that onto my card base. I added a few gemstones. And then on the inside of my card, I have another scrap of paper from this beautiful wood grain pattern paper, as well as another ephemera piece snowflake and a sticker that says peace. My next card has to be one of my favorites from this collection. I'm using more of the brown craft card stock as well as a piece of the dark green. The sentiment is going to say Merry Christmas, and I'm just adhering that to the bottom of my card. Just barely fit <laughs> across this panel. And then I'm using some of the pretty pine trees from the ephemera pack. There were a lot of them. And then there's two of each uh, ephemera piece in this kit, which is nice. You can make up two of each cards or like I'm doing, I'm using a bunch of the ephemera pieces on one card. Some of these trees I'm going to adhere down flat. The three larger ones I'm popping up with some foam squares. I put the smaller trees up higher and behind the larger trees to give it some nice perspective. So it looks like it's a forest and there's trees behind my three main trees, if that makes sense. Then I'm putting stars above them. These are also from the ephemera pack. I'm putting the larger stars above the larger trees and the smaller ones over the small trees. Now to adhere this to another card base, press it into place, and that completes my card. I just love the sparkle on these tree ephemera pieces as well as the stars. And here is a peek at the inside. My next card is going to be a collage card. I'm using a bone folder here just to smooth out the edges. Sometimes when I cut my paper down with my paper trimmer, the edges kind of pull up. I just need to get a new blade on my Fiskars paper trimmer. I've used this for like 13 years now. I love it because it's small and I can just tuck it away when I'm not using it. This card would be perfect to send out to a child. I'm using a lot of the fun ephemera pieces from this kit. I'm adhering some flat onto the card, just with some glue, and then some of them I'm going to prop up with some foam pieces. This just gives it some fun dimension. And I really love the small metallic piece of cardstock that I'm using behind all these elements. This adds some sparkle and fun to the card. Collage cards are really fun to make. I had a lot of fun putting this particular card together. So if you haven't ever tried this, give it a try. I also cut out a few poinsettia flowers. This little die was included with the pack of dies from this kit. And I cut one out with pink and one with green and layered them together. I just love this little mouse nutcracker ephemera piece. I put some foam tape behind him. This silver background is almost completely covered, but you can still see bits of it through all of the ephemera pieces, and I just love that effect. The little poinsettia comes with a dot, so I'm just adding the dot on the center of that. 
and gluing that into place. And then I even managed to find room for some more of the gemstones. And I have to stop and call my card finished at this point. And here is a close-up look at it. On the inside, of course, I have to use a lot more of the stickers and ephemera pieces and scrap paper. And now for another super fast card, I cut out strips of the silver metallic paper. And I'm adhering them down flat onto a piece of the blue cardstock. I cut down a piece of the pattern paper to put in the center of this piece. And then I really loved this large ephemera piece that just says joy. So I'm going to glue that down flat. And I found a cute little Christmas tree bobble ephemera piece. And I'm going to attach that to the Y in the joy. So I'm using a little bit of twine to do this. And then I'm going to tie a little bow at the top of the bobble. And then whenever I use bows on my card, I like to attach them with a glue dot just to keep them in place. I use a pen knife just to get behind the bow and press that into place. I thought I'd adhere a few more stars around this panel. And that's it for this card. I used another ephemera piece that says cheer on the inside, as well as a strip of pattern paper. On my next card, I'm using another really fun technique. I love the poinsettia die from this kit, and I wanted to turn it into a stamp. So I cut it out with some fun foam, and I used some Tombow Mono Multi-Liquid Glue to attach them to my acrylic blocks. I just put little dabs of glue on this fun foam and then I allowed it to dry. And this glue dries very tacky so that it will attach to your acrylic block and then you can pull it off easily afterwards. These stamps that you create from your dies can be reused and they give such a great impression. You even see all of the little lines on this poinsettia. So that was some Delicata Gold ink that I used first. And now I'm coming in with some red and I'm stamping it right over the gold, kind of askew. So the gold looks like leaves behind these poinsettias. And this is another piece of the white cardstock from this kit. The gold doesn't show up very much, but when you turn it in the light, you can really see it. It's really pretty. So here is the glue that I used. This is great glue. I don't use it a lot, mostly just for this technique. This is a dot die cut that I'm using next on the centers of these poinsettias. And now for the little leaf. I'm just stamping that randomly around this panel. I thought it needed some more gold dots. So that is what I'm adding next. I'm also going to come in with some red dots. I'm doing second generation stamping on these dots just to make them a little more soft and light. I decided that my sentiment is going to be black, and so I wanted to add a few black dots. I was unsure there. You see me hesitate for a moment. And I just went forward, and I think the black pulls in the black sentiment and helps that out a lot. I'm cutting out the sentiment Christmas cheer with some black cardstock. I'm also cutting out a piece of vellum. The pattern behind my sentiment is so busy that this little piece of vellum will help make it pop off of the card, not get lost in the pattern. I turned these into stickers using a sheet of score tape, and then I ran them through my die cut machine. It was kind of challenging pulling them out because these dies are so thin. So I'm using my craft pick just to poke those out. In the future, I think I would have just used regular glue. 
took me ages to poke those out. And now I can put the vellum down onto my card, and it's pretty because you can still see the flowers behind it. But it just kind of softens it in that area so that you can see the sentiment. I'm just using my craft pick to put those in place, and then I'll press it down hard so it stays put. I'm going to mat this with another piece of the craft card stock. And then I decided it needed another poinsettia on the front of this card, so I cut one out with red and gold. And I'm just going to adhere one into the corner of this card. I really love how this one turned out. On the inside, I used more scrap paper and a poinsettia die cut. On my last card, I'm going to use some of the sentiment stamps that came in this kit. And I'm stamping it onto a piece of white cardstock, and I'm using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink to ink this up. It says, have a wonderful, and then I'll use a die cut for the rest of it, and it'll say Christmas. And I'm being careful not to press too hard on the sentiment strip so it doesn't get mashed. I just love this blue pattern paper, so I pulled out another piece of that and cut it down to size. And then I'm going to use another silver scalloped frame. On the inside of this frame, I'm going to use my white panel. And I'll adhere that down with some dot liner. I cut the Christmas out with some red cardstock, and I'm going to dab on some liquid glue to adhere that down. I also cut out some more poinsettias. I cut them out with red cardstock and blue, and I'm going to adhere them onto the bottom of my cardstock. And I also cut them out with some more silver metallic cardstock. And at this point, I thought it needed a little something more. It just looked too bare. So I'm going to pull out a sentiment from the ephemera pack. And this says, Jingle All the Way. I really like the curved shape to this piece. And of course, I had to use more of the ephemera pieces on the inside, as well as a strip of pattern paper and a sticker sentiment. And that completes all of my 10 cards. I have enough stuff left from this kit that I could make up a lot more. How are all of you coming along with your holiday cards? I still have quite a lot left to do, but that's okay. I just love creating Christmas cards. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope you were inspired and get a chance to sit down and create something awesome. Have a lovely day, my crafty friends. Bye.